Hi, YouTube. Hello and welcome to Jackhammer Mike's prepping contingency plan sapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's been a long day. Very long day. Very. Fun day. <laughs> I think we're going to answer questions tomorrow. Definitely. We just got back from a, a three mile hike. Um, the weather is really cold and windy when we started. Yeah, that breeze is picking up again, isn't it? We weren't really uh, expecting much, and then we came across... Damn, we saw more wildlife today than we've seen in a long time. First thing was a dead tarantula that somebody ran over, and then uh, a demon bird, and then what was next? A snake. A gopher yeah, snake. Gopher snake. A go yeah, a really nice gopher snake. It was beautiful. It was pretty. Really we nice. let him live. <laughs> Then we finally got to the cattle tank and we had a showdown with like a whole bunch of demon birds. We shot a whole bunch of rounds at them from like 300 yards. It was ridiculous. I will check the video and see if it came in because I mean, the way these things glowed and moved, it was just freaking weird. They would be there in a, and then they would just go black. You couldn't see it. And then all of a sudden they'd come back in a different spot and just really weird how they reflected the light. Yeah. We saw a wolf spider. We saw a cottontail rabbit. I think we're missing, it seems like we're missing some stuff. A rattlesnake. Oh, TCP was bringing back this log that's laying in here right now. Oh, yeah. It broke in half, and oh. this freaking lizard pops out of it. <laughs> hey, it was a good sized little lizard. I've got that on camera. I've got a picture of him on camera. Kind of just sat there and let us take pictures of him. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. And then right before the lizard, after the cottontail, cotton we were all three pretty tired and just walking and not talking. And we just all three just stopped. <laughs> and about, I don't know, 15 yards, 10 yards? Yeah, maybe. In front of us was a uh, western diamondback rattlesnake just stretched out on the uh, trail. And, well, you've seen the video. There he is now. <laughs> and, and that's, uh, we had to make two pieces out of it because one of the rounds hit him kind of uh, Shredded about it. a third of the way down his body. So we ended up, we got two pieces out of it and it's cooking and we're going to eat it. Yeah, we'll cut that camera here in a little bit and that's what, jump uh, back on it and uh, show you guys we're going to eat all of it. So edible. Sappers like woke up this morning in Indiana. 2:30. And now he's time. now he's in the Arizona desert at what is it now? 1:30, 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't even know. It's almost one o'clock. Almost one o'clock in the morning, and he's cooking a rattlesnake that he time. shot over a fire. <laughs> so, well, the funny thing about the snake was, when I saw it, I mean, we come across sticks all the time, and you know, you don't know if it's a snake or what it is, you know, they just, you know, when the shadows and the lights are hitting them and stuff, you just can't really tell. This one actually turned out to be a snake instead of a stick this time. So it was kind of a shocker. Initially, I I, I thought it was a <coughs> snake right away, but I thought it was the gopher snake that we saw earlier because it was about the same size. The gopher snake was longer, but it looked like it because it was skinny. And then we saw the, the tail. Yeah, the zebra striped tail and it was like were you, did you say it then or did, earlier? If we come across a rattlesnake, I get a shoot. I think you said that yeah. before. Yeah, because we were shooting all the birds. Because if we come across stuff. a rattlesnake and I take the first shot, and we're like, yeah, because you guys missed the last. Okay. The last time. And it wasn't five <laughs> minutes later. We come across a rattlesnake and he shot it. And so we we got video of this. You probably we'll put it in here somewhere. But we cut the head off like you're supposed to, and it was still trying to bite. It was creepy. And it's and still moving. Yeah, the snake is still moving. It was it moved all the way. It was rattling its tail. I have a video of it sitting on the cooler or on the box with no head rattling its tail. It's 
crazy. And how long was that? Like Yeah, and that as soon as we put it when I was skinning it, after I skinned it, and we were holding like the meat and bone, it was still moving. <laughs> They're crazy. So yeah, we're gonna I haven't eaten rattlesnake. Me either. No, I haven't either. Should make sure it's cooked good. <laughs> I'll come down with some salmonella from <laughs> raw rattlesnake. But yeah, it was really eventful compared to what it started off as. I wasn't super hopeful because of the wind and the, the temperature was down. But once we saw the gopher snake, we sort of understood that the snakes were out. We just didn't necessarily expect to walk across the rattlesnake uh -huh. mm -hmm. laying right in front of us. Oh, the frog. Oh yeah, we got a bullfrog on video and uh yeah it was far more in a weird event. spot he wasn't even anywhere near water no yeah. just out in the desert oh and the turtle oh that's right yeah. got that the was turtle. the first thing yeah, that I was the one the turtle where the the bees were in our last video there's no bees there right now unless they're underground or something but there's no bees uh, but in those caves right there we were able to get up close and personal and i uh, got pictures of the uh there's a turtle in there oh yeah, so that was, was really cool. Really, far more uh, successful than I ever would have imagined. Now we get a rattlesnake. So, yeah, and being that this is October nineteenth, shit, in most parts of the country it's already starting to snow. What was the temperature in your place? The other day it came down to thirty-three <laughs> on my way to work. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was down. <coughs> 50s and uh, it was in the uh, upper 70s here today and uh, tomorrow hopefully we're gonna run and gun and then do the fireside chat at night I don't know what else we'll do I don't know if we're gonna go on another walk that took a lot out of me yeah <laughs> I'm pretty tired but I don't know the cameras can't pick it up none of them but the moon Orion, all the stars, it's gorgeous out here. Yep, super bright. And uh, yeah, I didn't bring a long sleeve shirt or a coat or anything, I was worried about that, but it's nice out. I'm gonna sleep outside in the back of the truck, I think. But I don't know, what do you think about Arizona? I like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't it's a know good about place. the summer weather, but <laughs> this winter yeah. weather, yeah, I like it. Yeah, the summer takes. It's, it's pretty brutal. I mean, you know, you can't really do a lot <coughs> during the day. If you've got an awning like we've got, you can get under it, shoot maybe a little bit, but it's it's hot, you're sweating. You drink so much water. You, yeah, you just drink a ton. We haven't is. even gone through nearly the water that we normally do. No, this has been really nice out here. I wish you could see the moon. It's fantastic. Ooh. You gotta sleep like a fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long snake takes to cook. That big one's not cooking much at all. Any more fucking wood on that fire? I think we need to get the snake closer to the coals. We're learning. Yeah, it's not like we do this every day. Yeah, this is like a Clint Eastwood spaghetti western. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting around with like eight guns and a snake. <laughs> yeah, we've got people camping up the hill in their RV. They gotta be terrified Probably of totally thinking we're nuts because we've been shooting all day long. I was doing some bump firing, so it's like full machine gun going off. Then they were all lights out when we went by there. <laughs> yeah. At what time was that, eight o'clock? 8.30, yeah. yeah they, 8.30? Well, the lights were on when we were, we went up on the hill to see if they were still there and the lights in the RV were on. And as soon as, I'm sure they could hear us talking from, we were all oh, yapping. Oh, yeah, you could hear, they could probably and hear And we had lights, right and I, they turned off all, <laughs> they were trying to hide or pretend like they were asleep. Probably peeking out the windows. Oh, my yeah. God, they're coming. They're coming. I don't think this is what they <laughs> planned for. <laughs> nice, peaceful desert no. weekend, and the three amigos are out here. <laughs> Yeah, this is really fun so far. Let me drop this down. So 
I guess I could tell him about my uh, flight coming here. Yeah, and like what you saw when you <coughs> got here and everything at the airport. Yeah. Um, so I was a little nervous taking firearms for the first time on the flight. Going to meet two uh, people that might be clinically insane that you'd never actually <laughs> met before. Uh, so I got to the airport, to the ticket counter, and uh, the lady gave me a big old smile. Oh, you, what can I do for you? And so I tell her I got firearms in this luggage, and then uh, her smile kind of went down a little bit, almost to a frown, but she didn't really question me. She says, okay. Um, so she goes around looking for this ticket, and she didn't even weigh the bags. <laughs> she just she was too busy <laughs> gonna think, touch it. thinking about the yeah. firearms she was, that she didn't even weigh the bags. <coughs> she just wanted She's the like, fucking crazy terrorist yeah. out of her out so, of her line. So she gives me this tag for me to sign that there's no ammunition in it, it's cleared and stuff, and then she tells me I need to put it in the case. And then when I'm trying to put it in the case, she's like, Let, just throw it in there. And, you know, like she doesn't want people to see what I have in there. <laughs> yeah, because they make you open the case and like clear it. It's down in the airport with an AR-15. She's <laughs> like, just just toss it in there and uh, close it real quick. And then uh, I'll meet you over by uh, TSA. <laughs> Behind so, that curtain so in the dark. The machine. <laughs> uh, That's kind of quick sake. Hey. And while I'm doing that, she's she asked me, are you a hunter? And I says, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> and uh, what? Uh, there was another guy. Oh, the bus guy who took me there. He was like, uh, good luck duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even tell him I was duck hunting. <laughs> Your AR-15, you're good. That's <laughs> right. That's what they, we keep telling them, you know, at the NRA. Hey, we always use AR-15 for duck hunting. <laughs> yeah, the only... Uh, problem I had was uh, my little battery charger um, that's the only thing they had a question about they ran it through the scanner it was in my backpack and then they they pulled me aside and said all right what do you got in there you talking about that little box that you let me use that, today yeah. that, <laughs> that was their big concern yeah <laughs> <laughs> just a little it's battery charger solar charger and what about the handgun did you have to go through the same process it was with the rifles so you had to like clear yeah so you had three no, weapons right? i didn't have to clear it you just have to say that you clear oh. it but you have to like show them no oh you don't open it and show it to them no i take the card i, I just yeah, you signed it a little check mark sign it just like it. when you do your background check and you say you're not insane <laughs> of course and they didn't have to physically see them no and oh, then I, see i thought they made i, I thought they made there. you like open it now, once it goes through the machine, then the TSA guy can see what exactly is in there. Three guns. Because she, she, she actually went behind the counter to see through the... Uh, the bulletproof glass? <laughs> <laughs> I think she wanted to know what I had in there. Because she went behind the counter to see what I had in there. And she's like, okay, you're good to go. You're a fucking terrorist. <laughs> and tell them where this is at. Because that's the, that's the best part. Oh, best part? O'Hare, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Murder capital of the United States. I've only days. seen pictures of real guns. <laughs> They're on TV. It was Those still are on TV. <laughs> Those are real. But tell them what you saw when you landed. Oh, yeah. First thing as we're landing, uh, I try to get a picture of it, but my battery went dead as uh, I hit record. It was Air Force One sitting on the tarmac there. Go Trump! And uh, it had uh, the security SUVs by the doors and uh, then there was a smaller plane behind that with the uh, United States of America too. Yeah, you want to turn that other one too? Right yeah. there. Chef Boy RD. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> the guy at the car rental place said, what did he say? He said something about, oh, good luck in, on hunting and uh, don't forget to duck. Ha 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 ha. People you, retarded. You think the people working at airports <laughs> would come into contact with people flying firearms all the time? Yeah. But then in Chicago, so nobody has a gun to check. All they hear is <laughs> everything's bad about it. So. Yeah, nobody has firearms to check. So it's like, That's true. where's this crazy person coming from? Oh, Indiana. Jeez. <laughs> so it's weird. It's like the same country, but I have to imagine you got to think that 
You're like in a different world right now. Yeah, it's just like... We walked into Walmart today on the way here to buy more ammo and we're <laughs> carrying <laughs> guns on our hips. Buying, buying ammo with a firearm on your side and they don't even blink. Lady asked, the lady that sold us the ammo said, thank you for your service because uh, Arizona license plates show that you're a veteran. That was her only comment. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to question me because I gave her my Indiana license. I was thinking about that too. But again, you're in Arizona. They don't yeah. sell ammo to yeah, anybody. They don't. Here. They're pretty lenient here. I think in some states, if you go have an out-of-state license and you present it to buy ammo, I don't think they'll sell it to you. Mm. When they said, can I see your license, and I gave her mine, because I checked out first, and I was like, oh, she's going to ask him for his license. It's going to say Indiana. Nothing. There's a lot of bones in there. It's going to be like eating a trout. Fish. I thought they ate the bones and all. That's what? what I always see on TV. No, they, like, I think they... I'm going to pick at it. They pull the meat, like, and then the, they end up with just, like, the thing with those ribs on it. Don't they? I don't know. I haven't seen a cowboy movie in a while. <laughs> like on... Uh, I see them pull off their six gun on their horse and shoot rattlesnakes, but they don't like show on, them cooking uh, them all that often. They just kill them and keep going. They get afraid. They like... They're chewing on it and eating it. I don't know. Maybe they're like... I don't know. I don't like eating bones. You know what? I checked over at Winco. I was going to get frog legs and they didn't have any. Uh, I was going to bring bad. some frog legs out. I heard it tastes like chicken. They didn't have any. <laughs> frog legs are delicious. They really are. Now you eat around the bone? Yes. <laughs> you do. <laughs> so you just nibble. It's, it's like corn on the cob. Kind of. <laughs> how, how big are the legs? <clears throat> Some of them are pretty good size. Yeah. Look at that old man limping. <laughs> Takes a lot out of you doing, it, doing this stuff. I mean, you, Mike and I do it once every six weeks maybe. What's that? Come out here and do this kind of stuff. Oh, hiking, yeah. You can't do it. I mean, at least we can, like all the time, because it, it takes a toll. Especially doing full gear. Yeah, and tomorrow, like, because we're going to be wearing our uh, harnesses and carrying ammo and running the, the course. Thankfully, the weather's, you know, not August weather, so we'll be okay, but physically, it beats you up. <coughs> but we fired a lot of rounds today for just. <laughs> dicking yeah, around. Just for dicking around. We fired a lot of rounds, but we have a lot more. A lot more. We're Americans. We have a lot of well, bullets. We had to zero in the rifles, too. Yeah, we zeroed the rifles today. <coughs> Mine was already zeroed, so. Because I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I wish there was a way. We, we didn't really film. Did we film any of shooting at those demon birds from across the pond yeah okay. tried to yeah. we've got like gunshots and some so. yeah a little bit of it you won't see the eyes the eyes were creepy because they, they almost look like little flames like like there was somebody across the thing holding big lighters yeah <laughs> they were like orange glowing it was creepy those birds Beady. i don't like those birds they just do they fly weird and they move around weird and they and laugh at like you they change yeah. colors they stalk you and they're not big birds. They're only about that big. <coughs> so they got a lot of attitude. They're kind of like a chihuahua. Probably like a dove. About the size of a dove, They're smaller maybe. than that. They're little. Well, remember the one that was in, sitting on the road yeah. in front of us? Yeah. We could have stomped on that thing. That's the other thing we saw. We saw the scorpion bug. We got photos of that we'll put in here. They're, those are... It's a whip spider. Those are hideous. Oh, yeah. Or whatever they call them. They're just fucking ugly. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we forgot. <laughs> Uh, there, I, I think there's more. Like The fact that we forgot the tortoise is ridiculous. Yeah. That, was, that was one of the coolest parts. Yeah, that was major. Trying to figure out what it was. <laughs> yeah, at first I wasn't sure because it, it almost looked like something furry that was curled up. And I thought it was like a snake curled up, a big snake. Had, I thought it looked, it looked like... Uh, on the back I thought it was like sort of a canine type thing that was like all, you know, curled up. And then you could see, then once you said turtle, I, I saw then I saw the smooth. shell pattern. I was like, okay, could have been a chupacabra. That's what I thought it was at first, but I didn't want to say anything. 
It's like we just found a <laughs> sleeping chupacabra. <laughs> Here's our proof. And they they wake up angry. <laughs> He didn't move at all, though. No, he was He was out. really sleeping. Yeah. And getting ready to hibernate. And he had a shell faced out, so he was completely protected. His tail was tucked in, except for his leg was kind of sticking out. That was cool. <laughs> Should have grabbed it. <laughs> yeah. I would have guessed. I would have betted against it when we first took off, because it, it was so windy and cool. At the time of the year... He's starting to hibernate. God damn yeah, this, this guy just made a really poor choice as far as going out. I didn't see any like like a mouse or anything in his stomach, so I think he was hungry. But the snake and the lizard both were actually really sluggish because of the temperature. That uh, lizard took off and then he just he only went about ten feet and he came to a complete stop. And this snake never did move. No, you know, that's funny because I was going to say that gopher snake had a lot more energy. And yeah, the gopher snake was a little peppy. A lot more. That's crazy. You make a YouTube channel and somebody comes from another state, you end up eating rattlesnake. The world is weird. Oh, yeah, that's... I thought they didn't have any bones. I thought it was uh, all muscle. No, they have bones. But like you said, I mean, they're really fucking small. Ooh. Some of this crispiness out here. That's the best part. <laughs> it actually smells pretty good. I don't want to say it. It's like chicken. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it smells like chicken. Yeah. I think you just try that piece, and Mike and I'll. Yeah, the fucking sticks break in there. I think this is. Yeah, this is cooked. I think we're good to go. I'll break this one in half. Do you want to play? Nope, we're just going to fucking eat it. There's your piece on the chair. They're eating rattlesnake. It's actually got some pretty good sized bones in it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> it's got a lot of bones in it. No does. It reminds me of the chicken's wings. Hmm. There's like three bones in where you think there'd be one. <laughs> you can use that as a needle. Yeah. So somebody else. I think on a large larger snake it probably probably did do that you can kind of pull the bones out and then just it was just the well this is different <laughs> Not bad though. Mm -hmm. Especially for not having any seasoning. I got salt and pepper and garlic powder <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> Don't need that. <laughs> but then it ends up tasting like garlic powder and salt and pepper. This is just raw cooked snake. I like this. The bones kind of go uh, worse than eating fish. It's like trout. 
Only bonier. I would not eat the bones. Yeah, we should have tried to skin it. Fillet it. A little bit because, yeah, it's just nothing but bone. Spine. Yeah, more than anything, you just sort of need to put the flavor. I think the thing is, this is just a, a skinny snake. There's just not much meat. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why he was out hunting. <laughs> I didn't see anything in his stomach. Yeah, he didn't have anything. In there. Yeah, she was all bone. You break the tail. <laughs> you can come to Arizona with us and eat snakes. And yeah, cook good. it different, maybe like four next, footer. Next time, put it like in a skillet or something. Saute it up with some onion and yeah, but this is butter. We're so damn tired. We just wanted to cook it because we couldn't leave it till the morning. It wouldn't have lasted. And we couldn't, like, kill it and not eat it, because that's wrong. Well, we can cross that off the bucket list. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I went to a restaurant and they had rattlesnake on the menu, so, like, a chef was making it, I'd go for it. Mm -hmm. That was our first attempt at cooking a snake. It's not something we do often. First time. Watching you cook it. <laughs> <laughs> and skinning it, that was the fun yeah. part. Yeah, you couldn't necessarily survive on something like that. You have to have a couple of them. Yeah. I mean, not, to fill you up, I mean, you could get, they'd give you some protein and stuff, but. Not real easy to come by either. That's uh, the fifth or sixth one I've seen since I moved here. But we go out kind of looking for them in a way. We haven't really accidentally come across any. No. Oh. Good night, YouTube. Yeah. Later, dudes. Later.